Okay, let's continue our mailbox. Uh, before we start, you have to go to Moodle to download the texture first. I've prepared a uh, texture, uh, which is a TIFF. Uh, yeah, as I remember, which is a TIFF file. Uh, download the picture and then put it into the folder. Uh, since SS images under your project folder. And then go back to our 3D file. Uh, Check your renderer first. Uh, I'm using CNI to uh, to do our day scene, so make sure that you are using CNI, and then go to Material Editor. Um, I need a standard agency under CNI. Drag it to the empty space in our working area, and then I need a big map. You can simply input big map right here. To ask the computer to sort it for you, and then drag it out. Select our texture, texture file. We link it to diffuse color. Uh, link it to our three D object. Uh, there are two parts of my three D object. Uh, the body of my bean and also the handle. So, we drag it out one more time for the handle. And then close the material editor. Uh, you will find that I've already applied the blue color to our mailbox, but uh, the texture, the pattern, seems uh, quite distort. So what I have to do is to select your 3D object, go to Model Palettes, to apply uh, on what UEW. Okay, and also the handle. Okay, turn it off first. Uh, what UEW and then um, I'll try the handle to you first because um, it looks more easy uh, you can open this menu you will see vertex edge polygon uh, most of the time I will use polygon I use polygon to select some of the polygon use uh, your press your holding your keyboard control key and then select the necessary polygon you want and you can also right click to select isolate selection so that you will hit them the other object and then you can easily to select the rest of the polygons you want and after that I choose open UV editor okay this is the polygon that I select uh, what I have to do is to go here choose a planar projection and then select the align option um, in this case, uh, you can look at the axis right here. This direction from right to left is the x axis. So I choose x axis. Uh, you will also see this uh, yellow box appear right here. Uh, yellow outline rectangle, uh, which represents the projection, your projection angle, or you can um, imagine which is the screen of your projector um, after that you can turn it off turn the planet projection off go back to our edit UV at the, the window of our edit UV UVW uh, here are movement rotation and scale I move it out first you will see one two one two three four five six this six, six polygon one two three four Five, 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 six, and also the back side. Okay, all of them stick together. Um, actually, I can move it out if I select this, select my polygon, and then click it. You will see, um, it divides our UV into two objects. I press Ctrl E set to undo it first, and then I, uh, what the problem I face is while I'm uh, moving my UV right here, uh, you see the pattern was moving. But I can see the texture in my UV editor. So what I have to do is go to this pull down menu, choose pack texture, and then input bitmap again. Select our texture so that I can see my texture right here. I'll move the rest of the UV out a bit. Okay. And then put our handle. Which part is our handle? Um I guess
this is a shadow. I guess maybe this one is our handle. So I use the scale to You can also use vertex to select all these points and move it again. Choose. Oh, remember that if you want to choose um just uh, uh some of the specific part of your object, for example, uh all these vertex, remember to turn this button off. Uh, if you turn on the select by element, every time while you do the editing, the computer will trick you that you are going to modify the whole object. So I select vertex, turn this button off, select this vertex and I I'm holding keyboard shift key so that I can move it straightly. Okay. And also I'll go back to polygon and then do again for this side and I pressing control key and this side. Line of projection. And the thing about the angle, this is the right direction, so I choose Y. I remember to turn this button off. Okay, at last, just repeat your step for different part, different polygon of your object. And this time, I'm using the EZ assets. You can also use this button for you to rotate your object. Remember to click it to turn it off. You can also use vertex to select the vertex here. And then click this button to make it look more straight. Align them as a straight line. Okay, I finished the handle, so um, I right click it to end the isolation. For our beam, select the polygon, open the UI data again, do the same setting, pick texture. And place our texture right here. I move everything out of this area so that uh, I have more space to locate our polygon. I'm holding keyboard control key on the select all the face. And you can also press your keyboard F4 so that you can see, you can see the white frame. Planar, this is Y SS, so I choose Y. Remember to turn it off.
Um, because the scale of our uh, object, um, the fading object and the texture are not uh, exactly the same, so uh, maybe you have to adjust it a bit to make it fit to your texture. But remember that if the uh, distortion was um, great different, <coughs> great different compared with the texture uh, between of uh, your fitting object compared with the texture between two of them, if there's a great different, great different, you will see that uh, the texture will be distorted. Uh, which um, for this one, circle, look in between, it becomes an uh, oval. For the back side, Plana. this direction is X, and then turn it off. This one is X assets. Y direction and sometimes at that you may need to flip your texture rather than just rotate it. If you want to flip you can choose it here. Depends on uh, horizontal or vertical. But in this case I don't need to do it. This is is an SS. And this is XSS.
Um, you can also choose edge, and I said this edge, you found that some of the edge um, in the other UV view was been highlighted in red. That means this edge is shared by these two polygons. What I want to do is to select this object, we'll take it by 90 degree, and then select the edge again. Okay, select the edge again. You stick them together. And then I'll combine, I've already combined these two objects into one in the UV editor. I missed some of the polygon right here, so what I need to do is open my UV editor. Select this fake polygon and then do a planet projection. Choose edge and then turn it off. Select this free edge. And you see, this free was be highlighted in blue. So, what I have to do is to select all of them and scale it down a bit. Choose all these three edge and then stitch. And then I press Ctrl E so that you can try different kinds of stitch that uh, to see which one is suit most suitable for you. In this case, um, okay, this is okay. And then I choose edge to move it out. Select vertex to make all the points look more linear.
because the bottom part of four legs are exactly the same so that you can over lay all of them together Okay, lastly. Okay, finish. And then I press F4 to see the final result. And remember to turn it off after you uh, finish the modify modification of the UE mapping. Okay, what I have to do is to group it. Move the pivot to the bottom of my beam and then save your file. Go to your your, your scene. File import merge select your file. Uh, because I didn't give the name for my material, so uh, sometimes uh, if the name of your material between different files, um, uh, they, are, they are using the same name, uh, the software will ask you to uh, rename it, or you can just click auto rename. Remember to turn it off. Rotate and then I turn angle snap. Make sure that it rotates by only 90 degree. Let's scale it down a bit. Go to top view, locate in front of your shop. Uh, you can go back to your camera if you already store some of the angle. In this case, I choose perspective because I want a close-up shot of my mailbox. And then I do the render. Okay, after you finish the everything and 
after you rendered your final picture, uh, save your rendered picture to render output and submit the whole folder to me as your lab for exercise. Okay, done. And then I should say render output. Bin. Okay, done.